Neil Reviews. I'm your host, as always, Headphones Neil, bringing you my set of reviews for this week. So, I have um, a season finale to talk about and a related film, a new show that started back up, another season, and the, mostly the same set of reviews as last week, along with a gameplay update. So, with that being said, I, as a continuation from last week, I had a chance to watch The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, and overall for me, the movie holds up. Um, it's a very long film, there's a lot of stuff that's easy to forget as far as the back and forth of stuff, the um, fighting of men to reclaim their kingdom and all of that stuff, but overall, a good relationship between you know Sam and Frodo, um, the friendship between Gimli and uh, Legolas and all that, and then um, Aragorn becoming king, and just the general completion of all the different um, story arcs when you get to see that of how much they had to resolve in the to the third film. Um, so with that being said, I also had a chance to watch The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power Season 2 finale, and overall it wasn't too bad. It was a continuation of the follow from last the last episode, you kind of get to see that for season three, they're going to have the, con the finishing of the Rings of Men. Most likely the creation of the One Ring is what I'm going to suspect. So overall, it didn't fall negatively for me, but it did kind of fall on par. It didn't necessarily resolve negatively, but it's more of those things where they finished out the storylines. They... Um, it was overall good storytelling and good character interactions. We see the, um, how the elves got into the uh, forest kingdom of wherever um, Elrond was by the time of the Lord of the Rings trilogy film or the film trilogy. So um, I kind of like that and kind of shows the continuation of the rise of their empire or the continuation of their empire. The only thing that didn't stand out as anything good for me was the creation of, or how Gandalf came up with his name. They basically pulled a Hodor and said, well, where the hobbits were calling him Grand Elf, and then he decided to go with Gandalf. So they tried to kind of do what they did in Game of Thrones, but with less buildup and creation and formation and all that. It's just, hey, thanks Grand Elf, and then the stranger was like, oh, Gandalf. And so that's why, like, if, to, if they were not trying to copy Game of Thrones, then it was weakly done. Just because, like, well, one to another, you're so, I guess you're supposed to try to read it from his, the stranger's face. If they were copying Game of Thrones, then it's a kind of cop out to have, or like a cheaply way, cheaply thing done to come up with Gandalf's name. Um, uh, to me, it kind of would have been a better story that. Um, Either the dark wizard gave him that name, or like they come up with some sort of lore to fill in the blanks and give him that name. So now, if that was in the Silmarillion, then I mean, I'm guess I guess I'm kind of okay with it. But um, I didn't. It doesn't feel like that fit in really well with that. So, or if maybe the book or the the all that text in the for the Silmarillion did a better job of explaining it than they did in the show. And if that's the case, then that's just poor implementation. So. For me, that's kind of the only low point for the sh episode and the season. For me, overall, season two was a definite improvement over the first season. So I can't wait to see what we get in the third season. And then the whole thing with Isildur and claiming the ring and how they finish tying that out to the Lord of the Rings films. Um, as far as the show that returned this week, we have The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, Season 2, The Book of Carol. And I'm actually saying that it that way because I was listening to the Talking Dead podcast, the unofficial one, not the one from AMC. And they actually made the host made actually made a good point that it's season two of the book of, of The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, with a subtitle, The Book of Carol. 
not The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, The Book of Carol season two, because that kind of implies that it, there was a season one of The Book of Carol. So neither here nor there, but overall a good star. We see what Daryl's been up to um, as far as his place with the rest of the French guys. And then we have Carol still trying to find him, meeting up with the guy who lost his son and the pilot and all of that stuff. And so not much to say yet, so we'll see kind of how they round out the season. But um, so far I'm intrigued to see what happens and see how things are going from the point of view of Carol. Um, and then I also had a chance to watch the Penguin Season 1 Episode 2, which as it turns out, I guess they moved the release date of the episodes to Sunday from Friday. So a little bit of a change there, but overall a good, also another good episode because we have more dealings with the um, different crime families that the Penguin is working for, how he's trying to move the blame or shift the blame from himself over to other people. He's not truly suspected, but the main lady who was let out of Arkham probably suspects him. So he's pretty much doing whatever he can to avoid the eye of um the falcons and then also still do what he wants needs to for um the moronis so um all in all so far i'm really intrigued i didn't think i would um enjoy um a show that's from the point of view of the penguin but they're doing a good job of it so i definitely recommend it um as far as real coaster goes um as far as the theme park management just doing my usual gameplays um not to i think i finished um so i had a chance to finish dragon mountain so overall a good thing good uh part there um it seems like the levels so far are pretty consistent where you build your rides and upgrade stuff and you have different themes so the, it's more of a theme focused rather than changing up the d differences in the park but i did start playing viking valley and um, I think it's one of those things where they adjust the pricing based on location and then the different ride styles as well that are available in each park. So that seems like that's going to be the differentiating factor, but overall I'm still enjoying it. I liked the point of view shots that we get to do on the different rides. So that's always fun. And then having to come up with how, what you want to upgrade and manage to upgrade first in order to keep the cash flow going and build up the park in order to get all the different points you need to finish the park and move on to the next one. As far as my, the update for my gameplay of Classic Doom 3, it's going very well. I'm enjoying all the work that they put into bringing Do the 1993 Doom into the Doom 3 platform. So um, I've been continuing to do the gameplay releases by level and then also do the preview of the level, just like a quick update on the notable part of the level, my favorite part, and just whatever stood out as a good part of the, each level as it was created in Doom 3. So I hope you guys are enjoying that as well. And what I'm going to actually, what I have planned for the end of the gameplay is once I'm done, I'm going to do a preview video of all the level previews that I've been putting out. So just a quick long play, whatever eight or nine minute video it turns out to be, um, to show a level by level preview of um the game so you can see what it looks like and then i'm also going to do a long play for the whole episode so you can just do a full whatever however long it takes watching of it so if you want a full you know cinematic gameplay or vi full cinematic video of the gameplay then you can do that as well um so look out for, so based on the current schedule look out for that um release coming um next week so um all in all though, so far a fun game. I can't wait to get to the final level to see how they... I think the Barons of Hell are the final bosses, so um, I can't wait to see how that turns out. So that's all there is for this particular episode and review. So if you have any questions, comments, feedback, want to comment on, the, po on uh, the episode or anything like that or provide your feedback, um, everything is linked on the website at headphonesneal.reviews. If, um, if you want early access to the episode along with the ad-free version of it, a link to the video version of the episode, uh, you can support the show on Patreon at patreon.com slash Patel zero one. But that is all for this particular episode. Thanks for tuning in and until next time.